Why are you still using Unity? Don't you want Nanite or Lumen? Have you tried Godot? These are questions that I get asked all the time, and today I'm going to give you the answer. Let's start with a little bit of context. First, I've been using Unity for about 13 years now. When the iPhone came out, they were way ahead of everybody. So when we wanted to build an iPhone game, well, Unity was the obvious choice. In fact, it was the only choice at first. So that's kind of what got me into Unity from the start. And before that, I spent quite a while working in Unreal on AAA games at Sony, building out MMOs. Now, it has been a while since I've done professional Unreal development and actually released a game, but I am keeping an eye on Unreal 4 and 5, and there's definitely some really cool stuff there, which is one of the key things that leaves people asking me why I still use Unity, especially with all of these cool new features. So let's get into it. First off, when you're building a game, you're going to want to build with a game engine. It's going to be Unity, Unreal, or Godot, or maybe some other custom option. But those are kind of the three top ones right now. And Godot is kind of a new competitor, especially in the, the 2D space. Now I'm gonna be blunt and honest from the start. If you wanna build a super realistic first person shooter, you should probably just dive into Unreal. That's really where it shines and kind of what it's built on. I mean, Unreal was a game first before, well, I don't know if the engine came out before the game, but it came out at the same time, Unreal Engine and the game, all around being a beautiful first person shooter. The engine does that amazing, and I don't think that anybody has ever done as good a job or is it probably going to keep up with them anytime soon. If you wanna build anything else though, you've got a lot of options. And that said, you can build a first person shooter in Unity, certainly done. There are certainly some really cool ones out there, especially if you want to do something cool in multiplayer that's not super realistic. But if you want to build other types of games, say you want to build a puzzle game, you want to build a strategy game, you want to build a city management game like City Skylines or City Skylines 2, any other kind of game that you want to build, usually, in my experience, is a little bit easier to build in Unity. And there are a couple of reasons for that. That said, let's, let's take a quick switch over to Godot. From what I hear, it's amazing for building 2D games. I don't build a whole lot of 2D games except for in my coursework stuff because I just don't play a lot of 2D games. I think they're great for learning, but not the kind of thing that I like to build that often. So I don't really know. If you love Godot, drop a comment down below and let me know why. Let's go back to Unity though. With Unity, you can build 2D games really easily. And I don't do that often, but it's very simple. And the pipeline for it is exactly the same as building 3D games. And the Unity pipeline for building 3D games, in my opinion, is awesome. It's very simple to put together whatever it is you want to put together and to figure out how to write the code for the different types of systems. One of the biggest things that I love about Unity from the start is just that there's so much documentation out there because the user base is so huge. So if you want to figure out how to do something, you can quickly search, find some documents on it or find a couple video tutorials or just get in contact with people who've built those systems or talks from people who share their code everywhere. And it's just very easy to kind of get started with whatever it is that you want to build. And if you can't figure out how to do it, you can probably just find something on the asset store that does exactly what you wanted to do and then dig through the source code and figure out how it works. Or in a lot of scenarios, just pop it right into your game and have it work, depending on how integral it is to you. Right now I'm building out an RPG and I'm using a ridiculous number of assets but it's sped up development drastically with just a couple hours in. We got a game where I can run around, have dialogue with NPCs, get items, get quest rewards. I've built out levels, got a level building and snapping system, and it all just kind of comes together very easily. Certainly would not have been doable without using a good game engine like Unity, along with a bunch of really cool assets. And I think Beyond code, well, let's talk about code for a minute. One of the core things that has really got me stuck with Unity is the fact that it uses C Sharp for the programming language. Now, I've done C++ programming before. It's a great language, but it's certainly a lot easier to mess things up. It's a lot easier to make mistakes. And even though they've improved it drastically, I still feel like there's a lot of ceremony, at least compared to C Sharp. They've really kind of optimized that down with C Sharp. And it's a lot easier to write code that just does what you want it to do without having to worry so much about memory management or keeping track of things as much as you do in Unreal or in C++. That said, it's so much better now that it's not nearly as big of an issue. So going back and forth, I don't think is a, 
a huge deal, and you can definitely go back and forth. But that also takes me over to the C-sharp transferability point that I wanted to mention, because if you're trying to figure out, like, what should you learn, what type of, uh, what's going to be most useful for you in your career, if you're going for a big AAA company that's using Unreal, C++ and Unreal is definitely going to be the way to go. You should you should learn that stuff, especially if you've got a good idea on where you're going to work, where you're going to try to apply, and especially even more if you've got like an in there and you're pretty sure that you're going to get into it. If you don't know and you, you're really kind of up in the air, there are definitely a lot more C-sharp jobs out there, even a lot more Unity jobs just because there are so many smaller indie companies that are hiring developers. But more importantly, that C-sharp skill is just transferable outside of game development. C++ is used somewhat outside of game development, but in a lot less places than C-sharp. You'll find C-sharp in a lot of enterprise places. A lot of the big companies still use it for their internal stuff, some for their web stuff, but largely for a lot of big corporate enterprise stuff or even small enterprise stuff too. It's very easy to kind of switch back and forth. And I've done that quite a bit myself. I spent quite a bit of time working in enterprise and game development and making kind of this jump back and forth. And a lot of the time I would often try to bring things like from the game engines over to the enterprise side. And it worked out pretty well, actually. Now, let's get into the last point, the main thing that's got me, you know, sticking with using Unity. And that is definitely... Uh, it's really the asset store and those assets that I mentioned earlier that make it so much easier for me to build stuff. Largely, it's art assets. I pull in all kinds of art stuff. But nowadays, whenever I want a system that I already know how to build and I just don't want to code it again, I just go grab it from the asset store. Most of the time, I've got something from a Humble Bundle or from one of the other crazy bundles. They've got their 30 for 30 bundle going on right now. I just grab those things, and a lot of time I just already have the things. Now, the one I'm using right now is RPG Builder, which made it so I had an RPG just from the beginning. I I don't remember where I grabbed this thing. It might have been in a in a humble bundle as well, but give me a full on RPG from the beginning. So I've got characters that can run around with dialogue and combat and a, a, quite a few other things that I'm probably not going to use all of, but it made it so that I just had all of that from the start and I didn't have to spend weeks setting up my character controller, setting up NPCs, setting up dialogue inventory, and all of the other things that aren't really fun about my game. And that's really what Unity lets me do. It lets me spend my time working on the game that I want to build instead of building out the systems that I've built before and aren't really the uh, exciting part for me. So that's my reason for it. Maybe one day I'll switch over to something else, but I don't see that happening in the near future. And I don't see it on the horizon yet. But if you've got an argument for why I should switch or maybe why you're using whichever engine you're using, please drop it down in the comments and let me know. I'm curious to know what everybody else thinks. I want to make sure that I'm not just uh, stuck in a bubble or anything. All right, thanks again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share the video, and let me know what you think down below. Bye.